la, Los, Los Cabos. What? But we are not in Los Cabos. I was telling Jimmy earlier that if they had Old Style in Los Cabos, I might still be there. But hey, hello. It's true. Hello, Chicago. We are coming to you, not from Los Cabos, but from Studio C. It's at old AM. news, man. Let at, it go. I know, I know. Let it go. I still, I'm still remembering. I told you I'd still be there if it was. Let me just sit right here and have another beer in Mexico. <laughs> we are here at Studio C uh, at AM 560. The answer. No, I'm in. I'm in La La. Well, La, La I'm in La La Land. Is right. The show show's gone this, wild. Okay, hold on. This is the IRS Radio Hour. Quiet, numbskulls, I'm broadcasting. And that's you I'm talking to. I want to remind our listeners that this show is sponsored by the law office of Stephen A. Leahy, PC, and Opum Tax Resolutions. God bless you, Opum Tax (laughs) Resolutions. We help people dealing with IRS problems. We help them with audits, levies, liens, garnishments, collections, payroll tax issues. We also help people with mortgage foreclosures, loan modifications, bankruptcy, and other debt-related issues. So if you have any of these problems, or if you know someone who does, you should give me a call at 312-664-6649. Again, that number is 312-664-6649. Now, a couple weeks ago, we had a lawyer in here. His name was Jim Marisi, and he helps people who are injured. So if you're injured, call me. And I'll set you, I'll hook you up with Jim, and we'll help you if you get injured, if you know someone in an accident or you were hurt on the job. Call me, and we'll I'll set you up with Jim. He's a great attorney, uh, and I would and I would say uh, I'd recommend him to anybody. Um, so I want to introduce my our technical producer Debbie Schreiner. Hey, Stephen. And I'm sorry, I have to apologize to Debbie because I didn't tell her how I was going to start the show. So it was it was different. That Boy, was wild. That was awesome. <laughs> wild, crazy. That's maniacal. why she's the best in the business. She <laughs> just followed you there. She, <laughs> she worked with them. Roll with that. Roll with that. <laughs> it's true. Uh, she kept looking at me like, go, go, go. Come on. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then I want to introduce my nephew, my co-host, my very good friend. And he was the co-host here when I was gone. Yeah. Jimmy Leahy. You know who's the best around, ladies and gentlemen? Patrick Kane yeah. is the best around. But I didn't watch the game, and I'm gonna, we're going to go into this. I, you know, I, I wasn't going to talk about that in the show. We're not going to talk about it in this segment. Maybe we'll we're not going to talk about it in this because we can go on this whole show about this, I know. but we're not going to do it. And I've seen, I have and friends. I'm like, I'll explain why later on in the show, but ladies and gentlemen, since we've taken up a little time here, we're going to go right into the first segment. The News Roundup. The News Roundup. Review and comment on the news. You forgot kind of what to say. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, it was a late night last night. It was a late night. I was up, I was up late night last so, night. So we record Friday. And so is Debbie. Sunday. Weren't you, Debbie? Just... I was up watching the Blackhawks. <laughs> so Woo! Again, we record Friday and air Sunday, so anybody who's confused No, no they kept it. promising that they were going to replay the Cub game after the... Uh, the Hawks game, After the but then there was like an hour of of an- analysis of the Hawks game, so I kept waiting to see the beginning. Of the- I had to go to bed. It was two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Time to go to bed. Uh, I wanted to recognize uh, two two individuals who have passed. Uh, Prince, uh, I don't know his last name. Name a song. I, I told you. Besides Purple Rain, I cannot name a song. I was never really a big Prince fan. Although I've heard it, since he's passed, I've heard that he was a Republican. I don't know if that's true or not. I've also not heard that that good. matters to me because I am not a Republican. I also heard he's really good at basketball from none other than Charlie Murphy. <laughs> that's, that's funny. And also I wanted to recognize uh, that Mo Pappas has passed. And that that's, uh, kind of reminded me because the no, the no hitter from Jake Arrieta and uh, kind of reminded me of Mo Pappas. Um, Cubs no hitters. There's not that many of them. So, yeah. so they're, con- my, yeah, they're connected in history, Jim. Uh, so I wanted to recognize both of them. It, it is weird that this, uh, pr- this Prince thing, because now he's everywhere and he was nowhere for 15 years. I, I know. I haven't heard anything from him. Uh, he pops up occasionally, but, and, and it is true. Jim and I were talking about, well, what kind of, what, do you know any songs that he, nah. I said oh, other than the two. I know a lot of them. Do you? Yes. Little Red Corvette. Oh, I know. Kiss. Okay. Uh, I never heard that. Oh, I heard the Little Red Corvette. I, I, Let's that, Go Crazy. 
Okay, I've heard that. Raspberry I've heard. Beret, which is my favorite. Okay, I've heard. And, you know, now I that you do, I have beret. read, I have heard those songs. I have, but I couldn't have named, I couldn't have named them myself. No. But it, Little Red Corvette was a, actually a very big song and, and, uh. And a good song, actually. Um, the best thing he ever did was uh, Sheila E. and uh, and Abalonia. Okay, <laughs> those two I I know. <laughs> what is that? I don't. The two girls that were on this. I don't know. They're, they're very attractive women. Drum, she was the drummer, right, for his group. I, I, I agree that I think that's for his true. Crew. I never really watched it. I just I just know who they are. <laughs> I was young at the time. Well, uh, but there's other things going on. Of course, there's other things going on. But, you know, like Chelsea Clinton saying, let's enact gun control now that Scalia is gone. Well, and this know, is going to lead up into well, our blog segment. That is going to, we're going to talk about so that this in the blog is, yeah. because it's, it's so important the, who, who the next president of the United States. And I've kind of changed my mind about that because last week I think I was saying there's no way that Trump can win. But after 60% plus oh. in New York, I'm thinking, well, maybe he can win. Maybe he can get enough delegates and win this thing. And maybe, and since he's kind of changed his tune, uh, maybe he can win at all. I, my own opinion is uh, I think Hillary is a terrible campaigner. She's. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, and that's the best she go, that's the best she gets right there. That, that's because she's a terrible campaigner, and if you listen to her, she'll put you to sleep. And if she's up against Donald Trump, uh, you know I think Donald's got a barrier. My own opinion. I know I hear that from the other side that you know the that the the Republican Party's lost if Donald Trump is. But now they're starting to warm up, going, "Hey, I know." Donald, yo, don't know well, hard feelings, the, just business. The, you know? uh, the guys in charge haven't done a very good job of uh, choosing candidates, in my opinion. I agree. The last several I agree. times. And so, uh, you know, it can't do any worse than Donald Trump. And I keep hearing, you know, that the country's, oh, he's not, he's not qualified. He's not, he's not up to the job. We got Barack Obama has been the president for eight years. He has proven. I heard that on this station yesterday. Some, some you didn't lady know was he talking. was been president for no, eight years? No, some lady was talking about that, about how he's not qualified and we need somebody who's qualified. It's just like, no. Yeah, you no, know. We've had Barack Obama for the last eight years. We're Which still here, Thursday. but barely yeah. hanging on by, by a thread, We're still, but we're still hanging on. And, you know, uh, the, the change of the currency and the change of the oh, bathroom the, laws and the change of the... believe that? I, you know, I, I don't know where it's going to end. And I'm really, I'm, you know, I'm concerned. And I don't think my, here's the problem with me. As I mentioned, I'm not a, I'm not really Republican. I'm a conservative and I don't have a candidate. I guess Ted Cruz would be my candidate. He's been my candidate from the beginning, but he doesn't stand a chance. He's not going to win. No. And so, no uh, way. so, you know, I'm, we're going to get, we're going to get Ted, I mean, uh, Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, and either one I'm not really happy with, but I have to go with uh, I have to go with Trump. And so all these people who are saying never Trump, I have to ask, where are, why aren't you saying never Hillary? Why is it never That's Trump? What I'm why saying, are the yeah. Republicans uh, saying oh yeah, never? And then why go after Bernie? Look at the people who support Bernie Sanders. Look at these people. Look at them. I'm sick of that. This. Is the new America? I'm sick Jim. of it. Look at these people. You're delusional. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But that's where we are. You know, that's they. There seem to be, and I'm their age group. I know, but that's that's not everybody in that age group. I know they could go. Millennials think this way. They don't all think the same. And I, I don't. You know, I I have two teenagers at home who know everything, and you know they tell me often about how about politics. And I, I just have to sometimes shake my head. You know, you're 15 years old. How, how much can you know? They call me a neocon. They, I'm not a neocon. Okay. <laughs> but whatever. Well, dad, you know, we're part of the constitution, but well, whatever. But at least I give them that. They that know the constitution. Broad... I, they know the constitution was... and they are, they, they want a, a country that's bound by the constitution. And that I agree with them 100% on. I am a constitutionalist, uh, liberty loving conservative. That's what I am. And that's what you should be. And that's what when we fight for liberty, sometimes you got to fight the organizations of the of the government. And, and that one organization is what, Jim? The IRS. That's and right. if they are going against the Constitution, going after you, and there's only one the group to call. The one law office to call. That's a law, of, law office of Stephen A. State, uh, I Which one speak. is it? Stephen A. Leahy and Open Tax Resolutions. They at help 312 312-664-6649. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. I know we were all off base here, but come back for the blog segment. We're going to talk about some Supreme Court rulings. That's right. And what's coming up, because they're important cases. Yep. So AM 560, the, the answer. answer. Welcome back to the IRS Radio Hour with attorney Stephen Leahy. 
Stephen has helped hundreds of Chicagoans recover from financial disaster, and he wants to help you and your family. There are resolutions, and you will hear about all those resolutions during today's informative discussion on the IRS Radio Hour on AM560, The Answer. Now, here's your host, Attorney Stephen Leahy. Welcome back. I am your host. I am Attorney Stephen Leahy, and this is the IRS Radio Hour on AM560, The The Answer. Answer. Now, remember, if you have a question, because I don't always talk about everything that I know. I know a lot more than I reveal. Here on the show. But if you have a question about this stuff that I know about, IRS stuff, bankruptcy stuff, give me a call. I'll answer it. And I'll put you, I'll even put the question here on the, on the show if you want me to. Uh, so call me at 312-664-6649. Or remember, we have that uh, email, questions at irsradiohour.com. Or just go to chicagotaxteam.com. There's a chat box there. Go up on the chat box. Write something in there. Or go on Facebook on the open t- There's a lot of ways to get your question well, it answered. It is the 21st century. So there's a lot of ways to get your question answered. So, also, too, okay. I forgot to mention, uh, remember, for, all, for anybody who is either a first-time pistol owner or looking to get their concealed and carry, that Italian Kitchen in Deerfield is having a uh, basic pistol safety course, even if you're against gun ownership. I, it might be a good idea to go and just understand and just understand how to safely use one and then, you know, say what you want about your gu- about guns. But just to know how to properly use a firearm uh, to just from if you and are if interested, call 847-945-2727 or just look them up on the Web and uh, the phone number will be there and you could just. Uh, I don't know May if we 2nd. have a lot of anti Second Amendment people listening to this show. <laughs> Could be. I know. I'm, I, you're welcome. I, we I, welcome I, everybody. I, I all welcome walks everybody. of life. But I, now, I have to agree with Joe Walsh. I'm going to say it again. The Second Amendment is the amendment that protects all the other amendments. That's what Joe Walsh said. And I agree with him. And now into the blog. It's the blog segment. The blog. The blog. <laughs> It's big, and it's terrifying. <laughs> the, the federal government? Yes, it is. But you know where that? You know where that's from? No. It's, uh, who did Perry Mason? Who's the actor? The actor who did Perry Mason? Raymond Burr. Raymond Burr was in the original <laughs> Godzilla in 1954. Oh. Yes, I knew. And that. And that's him when he's sitting there in the rubble. And he's calling the Chicago Tribune. Uh huh. Yeah, I so understand. a little fun fact of the day. It is a fun fact. Well, we can go. I, I know when Jimmy was growing up, I was there. I've seen them all. He he always loved Godzilla. I watched them all. Oh, I know you did. I remember when they came out with the new Godzilla. They're coming out with the new Godzilla movie. Oh, it was bad. I don't have to watch the Japanese, old Japanese ones anymore. And it was bad. <laughs> and it was bad. Even as a kid, you thought it was bad? Oh, the 98 one was bad. It was it. Because uh, he died at the end. I'm like, I looked at my dad and went, what? You can't die? <laughs> it's, it's Godzilla. How could he die? He just got killed with two rockets. That's it. <laughs> That's all it took. Okay. So I wanted to talk about uh, some Supreme Court cases and a Fourth Amend- a Fourth District uh, Circuit Court case appeals about this uh, North Carolina ca- laws that's going on, you know, that everybody's – I don't get it. Well, how is, you know, I'll tell you something. 20 years ago, if someone said to me, you know, we're going to pass a law that says men have to use a men's room and women have to use the women's room, we'd be looking at each other like – why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but now we have to pass a law, and not only do they pass a law, but everybody's against it. It's we're going to boycott. We're not going there. We're this is ridiculous. How can you pass such a hateful law? And this, will, I think, we were talking about this a little bit here before the show, all three of us, and we were because it's beca- because it's you can't have an opinion anymore. It's it's if you if you disagree, it's not just disagreement. It's hateful disagreement. And you can't have hateful. And we talked about anything you disagree with them. It's hate. You just it's hate like Shaw. What I, oh, you hate. Oh, OK. So that's we, why I'm not watching the NHL. Well, anymore. you're going to watch. I, I love game. the Chicago Blackhawks, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. I, well, they won when I didn't watch. Them, so so I I'm going to I'm going to do a shout out here to uh, uh, to Jeanette. Because Jeanette, I met her and her husband Chris in uh, in Mexico. She was a listener. Hello, Jeanette. She was a listener, but she had some great uh, posts about this because she was really kind of angry about this whole shot thing. You know that the, the I don't want sensitivity use, training. The, yeah, the sensitivity. The, you know, where's the men? Where where did this come from? That that you know, I, I I posted a picture of Bobby Hall all bloodied and, and you know I'm sure he had some choice words during that. I'm pretty sure they've all fight. used those kind of words. Yeah, I'm sure. And where does that come from? That I got to get a sense. But any okay. 
Okay, we need to go, go back. I'm sorry, ladies so and gentlemen. I was, so I was talking about, there's a, here's the case I wanted to talk about. I want to talk about the case, there's a Supreme Court case coming up about DUIs. And I think no, most people don't. I mentioned it to you and you weren't aware of this, right, Jim? That there's, uh, what is that? There's a case coming before the Supreme Court about whether the, the government can uh, take away your license or or um, convict you of something for refusing to give your blood or urine or breath tests. Well, you have to give your blood anyway when you go into the or you automatically when you get booked, you have to do that. No, you don't. This is before your book. This is be. This is when you're standing on the side of the road. They say, "Here, give us a blood." When test. you're going into jail, you have to do that. They have to. They have to You've administer been, something. Okay, you you don't have to give. Right, the fourth Fourth Amendment says, you know, uh, I don't have to. They can't have illegal searches and seizures. They so anyway. This is what's going on here in Illinois. If you refuse, to, if they if they ask you to blow, you know, into, for a yes. breath test, and you don't, you lose your license. You don't have to be convicted of anything. But you can fight it in court, and then you no, go no, a you don't. There is no, no. You lose your license. You've conv- you the the conviction is you didn't you uh, have refused a the breathalyzer test, and if you refuse it, it's a you lose your guilt. license because they say it's a it's not a right to drive on the roads. It, you've given implied consent to do this just by getting your license. I don't know where that comes from. Uh, even though they, you forced me to get that license, even though you forced me to exactly, pay taxes to fix these exactly. roads, which is my money. And so everything comes around, well, well, you know, can I, do I surrender my constitutional rights because you gave me a license? Or do I surrender my constitutional rights because, I mean, for anything, right? Oh, most of the things the government, the, so the government takes things from us and then doles it out piecemeal to us and then says, you're lucky I gave you that. Now you have to give that's up. That's what your... they'll do with health care. That's why everybody's that's fighting right. up. Because then if you don't agree with them, go, oh, well, like, for example, with that's guns. Right. Oh, you're not going to give. OK, well, then if you well, want that kidney transplant or that family, well, then you're going to have to give that up. You have to. You have implied Watch. consent. It'll be like that. It'll be like the implied that. consent is you can't have a gun in your home if you get if you have health insurance. But you made me get the health insurance. Yeah, but you don't have to. It's you, you don't you can have, go without it and yeah. pay the penalty. And so, you if you get health insurance, well, you've agreed not to have a gun in your home. Yeah, because it's because a health liability. It's a, it's a that's risk. Exactly it's a risk. Right. So, is that applied consent? To, so, I'm saying that that's wrong. Now, this uh, I don't know why it hasn't been a, uh, reviewed by the federal by the Supreme Court before this. And it, from what I've read, it sounds like some of the justices are are uh, are sympathetic to that argument that they should you should get a warrant. Before you make me give you anything, you can't make me give you my blood without a warrant and then give give me uh, consequences and uh, punishment because I didn't do something you told me to do, which is against my which is against my constitutional rights. And this is why this next election is so important. Okay, we've talked about these cases and many of these the most important cases like the right to keep and bear arms. They, They were decided five to four. And now Scalia's gone, and you mentioned uh, Chelsea Clinton's up, and oh, he's gone. Now we can now we can take everybody's guns away. Okay, so that's what's going to happen, right? The next election, at least one, because we know that Scalia is going to be replaced by the next president. But Ruth Bader Ginsburg is is on the is on death's door. Uh, and, yeah, she's knocking. And and others are older and and having. So we might have as many as th- three or four justices that the next president of the United States will appoint. And that will make. And this is what's changed our lives. OK, these th- these Supreme Court cases, not so much the legislature, because we our legislature keeps the state legislators keep trying to put laws in. That that we all you know to, for the uh, citizens, like, what? and then the then yeah. the, and then the the federal government comes and says no, you can't do that. So for one, for instance, uh, marriage act, right? Even California banned gay marriage. Even California, the liberal, they gave, they had a constitutional amendment that said no, no, you can't. That gay marriage is not. But the Supreme Court of the United States gave it and said, oh no, you're wrong. You're I don't care what your citizens say. You're going to do it anyway. Yeah, but then in turn, they were the reason why Chicago and everything we were able to have concealed and carry is because no, of their Second oh, Amendment oh, oh, rulings. Okay, no, so, not, see, in my opinion, we had that right anyway, and they took that right away from us, and so we didn't. You know, so I I know what you're saying, and I agree with you, but we don't. That's what's wrong with the federal government. Government, and that's when they they impose everything on us, and that's why it's so important. Now, who who is the next president to appoint the right 
uh, Supreme Court justices. And if the IRS is imposing their rights upon you, well, not when I mean rights, I mean if they're imposing their will upon you, and they do. there's only one law firm to call, and that's Open Tax Resolution in the Law Office of Stephen A. Leahy at 312-664-6649 or visit him at chicagotaxteam.com. Now, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because after the commercial break, more IRS Radio Hour is coming at you here on AM 560. The, the answer. answer. You're listening to the IRS Radio Hour with attorney Stephen Leahy on AM 560, The Answer. Attorney Stephen Leahy brings his passion and expertise to your radio each and every week during the IRS Radio Hour. Tune in, take notes, and be educated. Learn your options resolving financial obstacles that face so many. And now, back to the IRS Radio Hour with your host, Attorney Stephen Leahy. Welcome back. I am your host. I am Attorney Stephen Leahy. And this is the IRS Radio Hour on AM560, The, the answer. answer. We're going to welcome you back, right, Jim? That is right, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to go right into the next segment. And this week's segment of As the IRS Turns, Koskinen. Wherever we can, we follow the law. Barry Sotero. Not even mass corruption, not even a smidgen of corruption. And that ever favorite Lois Lerner is herself. For another week of As the IRS Turns. I'm Gaga for the saga. <laughs> so let it be written. I <laughs> just gave up going. So let it be done. I like that because that's actually what we're talking about, right? Because the, the IRS kind of makes up their own rules as they go along. Last week we talked about the three, I had three big stories. And I wanted, I was going to go into some of those stories this week. But I'm not because there's other big stories. Okay. And the big what story stories are those. The big story now is Congress is fine. Okay. So they've been battling back and forth, right? So this happened some years ago and they said, hey, uh, the IRS is targeting the, t- the Tea Party and other conservatives. And the IRS is uh, kind of off on some tangent by themselves without, without anybody regulating them. And, and uh, remember now, Congress controls all the money. And they control where they should be able to control what's going on in in the IRS. So there's some there's at least four bills that have been introduced now in Congress to uh, rein in the IRS's power and their control over us. And guess what? Guess who's against those laws? Hmm. Take a guess. Barack Obama. Barack Obama is true. He is against these rules and these laws, but also the IRS. Is, oh, the IRS. Yeah. You know, well, and also a Democratic congressman. They, they don't, you know, so they, they think it's wrong. So one of the things that they do, remember some, some weeks ago or maybe months ago now, we talked about the IRS and they were trying to regulate uh, tax pr- preparers, and they wanted the tax preparers to pay er, in, into the IRS and pay for a license. When the Supreme Court came back, the, I think this was the Love case, and the Supreme Court came back and said, no, no, you don't have the authority to do that, to require people pay a fee. And the reason why they wanted to pay that fee is they want that money because that money wasn't controlled by Congress. See, now that's what's going on. Now Congress is controlling the money that's going to the to the IRS, and that's why they're up in arms. They go, oh, you're not giving us enough money. We don't have enough money to do what we need. That's why people are on hold for an hour when you call the IRS. And that's why 60% of the calls are dropped. They don't even answer them. And then they now they say, oh, you know, we're, how much money we're giving up, even though it, now the IRS has collected more money. It's record amounts of money than they've ever collected before. And they still say, oh, it's not. And we still run deficits. We still have a $20 trillion deficit. Think about that number. $20 trillion. It's It's an Space, the final frontier. (laughs) These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise-wide. Enterprise-wide. The never-ending mission is to seek out new tax forms, (laughs) to explore strange new regulations. And that's where a lot of that money is going. Where no government employee... Has gone before. And no and government right. employee has and, gone and before. And the IRS does not want Congress to stop them from doing this kind of stuff, right? So if they if they can impl- impose fees, 
then the Congress, they say, well, Congress doesn't can't tell us how to spend that money. That's our money. But Congress now is trying to pass a law that says, no, no, that's just like every other government institution. When you go, when you get money, that doesn't belong to you. That belongs to the federal government. And that means Congress gets control where that money goes. And again, they're against it. The Democrats and everybody mm-hmm. are against it. That means to me, that's that's just common sense. I know. But, you know, common sense means nothing in this world, as we talk about today. So, it, it, you know, I mean, we're not even a, we're about to start using the same bathrooms, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we're, you know, I thought about this. It's like, oh, I don't, okay, I don't want to get into that. But anyway, uh, the IRS, th- there's more than this, right? Because they're talking about uh, the IRS has, has hired people. They fire them for cause. People are not doing their job. And then they rehire them. And so the Congress is saying, wait a minute, we're going to put a – you think you wouldn't need legislation to say, hey, you can't hire people you just fired because they don't do their job. Okay? Yeah. You shouldn't be able to hire them again. No, you shouldn't. Okay. Another thing that they're trying to control is bonuses. They're saying, wait, before you give bonuses out to everybody – remember, Lois Lerner got a bunch of bonuses before she was fired. Okay, they're yep. giving her bonuses. The IRS would like to apologize for that. So the, the Congress is saying, hey, before you give bonuses, work on customer service. Okay, and they say, well, that's not fair. We can't do that. That's ridiculous. It's just, it is ridiculous uh, that they're even bringing this up. Yeah, it doesn't, just, this organization, this uh, it, these people are backwards. I, I do give it to Congress for making the effort to try to rein them in and try to control this particular a government agency because this particular government agency is onerous to to citizens and if they're onerous to you you're a citizen they come after you they don't let you go right they they bury you you need help when that happens you need to call open tax resolution at 312-664-6649 again that number is 312-664-6649 ladies and gentlemen stay tuned more irs radio hour coming at you on am 560 the The answer. answer Welcome back to the IRS Radio Hour with attorney Stephen Leahy. Stephen has helped hundreds of Chicagoans recover from financial disaster, and he wants to help you and your family. There are resolutions, and you will hear about all those resolutions during today's informative discussion on the IRS Radio Hour on AM560, The Answer. Now, here's your host, attorney Stephen Leahy. (laughs) Welcome Welcome back. back. (laughs) Go ahead, Jim. No, 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 go ahead. No, 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 no. no. Let's just go right into the segment. Uh Uh-oh, we can't because you have taken Debbie by surprise. (laughs) And now, here's that man with a head just crammed full of knowledge. I have noticed that Jimmy's new thing is just say, well, let's just do that. Instead of doing his job, which is leading oh into the segment, he just says, let's oh just go. He's, he's mixing it up. We have always <laughs> agreed that this segment is just, we don't know how to introduce it. I Ladies understand. and gentlemen, are we getting better? Because guess what? We are encouraging everybody. If we are not answering your calls or your questions that, you know, if you're listening and we're talking about something, we go off on a rant. It happens. I know. Mm-hmm. Just give us a call, 312-664-6649. We will answer your call. We will answer it on radio. Okay. We and, will and also, got, also if right. you uh, go on Facebook or ChicagoTagsTeam.com, there's many ways to contact us about uh, your particular question with IRS help. Mm-hmm. And we have a question right now. Yeah, for, this one was uh, from my uh, website, ChicagoTagsTeam.com. If you go there, a, a box will pull up with a picture of me standing there. What about me? No picture of you. Ah! <laughs> Gabby, can you uh, believe that? <laughs> How long have I been on the show? I can't I'm, even get a I'm spot gonna, on I'm going to Photoshop you on there, Jim. Uh, well, what, about, just what like, about Debbie? Uh, we don't, Debbie doesn't complain. Where's, She's where's not, my glamour shot? <laughs> that's right. Because here's what you're, this, oh, this is what the right. gentleman said on the, on the uh, when he typed this into the chat box. He said he listens to Stephen and the group. Hey. Okay. So Debbie and Jim are now I the like group. It. I like it. I like it. So I have a posse as we Woo! <laughs> It's now Steven and the group. <laughs> the, the I got to say, my now. group has, uh, they both have sung on this show. I will not. They have you both. have sung on this show. You're singing the tune of IRS Hope. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Uh, okay, so he, so anyway, he typed me a, a kind of a long question, so I'm trying to get down to the, a few weeks, month, months back, they quoted some numbers about the tax refunds that go unclaimed because people don't file their tax returns. I I was driving, so uh, 
the thought came that maybe the, this represented illegal aliens that had bootlegged Social Security numbers and didn't file because they wanted to stay under the radar. The government normally analyzes any set of numbers they get to see if they can find patterns. Is it possible that such a paragraph that we talked about it before? Well, we did talk about this even last week. We talked about the illegals and their tax refunds. Okay, because now the IRS encourages illegals, even if you're using a, a false Social Security number, to file your tax returns and get your refund. So that shouldn't stop illegal so those that and remember the number that i used was 1 billion dollars that had gone unclaimed but now, not only are you saying this but it was also on a couple of other big big box outfit commercials what about unfiled tax returns? The unfiled, the billion. I didn't know that. I, I didn't uh, that. Well, uh, we're not going to say okay. names, I understand. but so, there was a couple of them. So but, the billion is correct. So, so the bill that was from 2012, just that 2012 year. Now I had a gentleman come into my office yesterday, and he has four years of unfiled tax returns with a big refund coming back from 2012. And guess what? He's a week late. He's not going to get that refund from 2012, and they won't apply it to the money that they say that he owes. It would have paid a a good portion of his IRS bill, but because he waited beyond the three years, he's not going to get that money. And so we're going to go ahead and do his other three years, and if he's got a refund, he's going to get those those refunds. So don't wait till the end. And I told you, remember last week you had the guy call me on April 15th and saying, I'm trying to do my 2012 tax return so I get my refund. Don't wait. If you have unfiled tax returns, call me and we'll get it done for you. Don't wait till the last. I know. I know. I know how this all works because one year turns into two years, turns into three years. All of a sudden it's five years later and you haven't filed your tax return. I understand how that works, but there's a, don't give the government an extra billion dollars because you're because you don't want to file your tax And they return. need more money. Don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Let Stephen Leahy give you a clean slate. <laughs> Call Opum Tax Resolution. For a free rebate. <laughs> you guys are incredible. I could never have done that. She just did that just now. You have a date with Dustin. <laughs> so, but it is true. It's true. So, again, so it's not the illegal aliens. Uh and, you know, sir, who, who sent this, I'm trying to think of what's the guy's name. I'm going to use his just his last name. No, no names. OK, I won't use any names, but let's call him J.M. OK, sure. his initials from J.M. from Chicago. Who listens to our show, to the on show. Sunday. So when he's driving, you? when he's driving. So I hope he's listening to this segment. We and it's you. not just a sales pitch. He says, I know he's doing a sales pitch. It's not a sales pitch, although. <laughs> it's a hey, we're not pulling but, yeah. but I'm really just giving you statistics, and I'm trying to tell you, if you have money sitting there, you're going to lose it. Don't lose it. That's just silly. File your tax return. Usually, if you have a refund, it's not that complicated of a return. E- even if it could be, you know, cut through the chase and do an easy return, at least you get some of the money back. Maybe you won't get it all back if you used all your deductions, but use some and get some of the money back. Don't let it go. Call. That's what we do. Okay, now, anyway. I hope, uh, J.M. from Chicago, that that answered your question. Thank you, Mr. Know-it-all. Yes, thank you, Mr. Know-it-all. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if we do not answer your question, you can always give us a call at 312-664-6649 or chicagotaxteam.com. But also, if the IRS is not answering your questions. Or not answering your phone or call. Or your phone Because calls, they don't answer your phone call. Give a call to that same number. And Open Tax Resolution will help you solve those issues. 312-664-6649. Or visit them at ChicagoTaxTeam.com. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Because after this commercial break, we're going to wrap this show up. With our favorite segment. Yes, on What's AM 560, The, the answer. answer. You're listening to the IRS Radio Hour with attorney Stephen Leahy on AM 560, The Answer. Attorney Stephen Leahy brings his passion and expertise to your radio each and every week during the IRS Radio Hour. Tune in, take notes, and be educated. Learn your options resolving financial obstacles that face so many. And now, back to the IRS Radio Hour with your host, Attorney Stephen Leahy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is not Stephen Leahy. This is your co-host, Jim Leahy. And I am introducing the last segment because... I've taken over. Isn't that right? You have. 
I'm okay with that. <laughs> this is the IRS Radio Hour on AM t- let me tell you, 560. The, the answer. answer. Let me tell you one thing, Jim. If I had one more cup of coffee, I wouldn't allow it. You wouldn't have allowed it. <laughs> so that was uh, ACDC playing. Brian Johnson's no longer with ACDC. I heard. He uh, actually, uh, Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses is, that is, right? finish, is finishing out ACDC's is that tour. Right? Yes. That's actually a good, that's a good I had parent. a chance to go see ACDC that's when they were parent. here. That's a good point. With Brian Jump. But you know what? I'm kind of done seeing people who are above the age of 65. It's just, eh, it doesn't mean, it's not really rock and roll, you know? Except Mummy. Motorhead was cool. That was cool. But uh, going on, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to mention one more time for all, for anybody who wants uh, to learn basic proficiency with pistols, contact the Italian Kitchen at 847-945-2727. On May 2nd, there will be a basic pistol safety course, and you can use those hours towards your concealed and carry permit. So, good. so what do we usually talk about on this? We usually talk show? sports here, and, sports, and it, we it's... record Friday and this airs Sunday. We don't really know how the Blackhawks are going to do. No, and I, but we know how they did on Thursday. Yes, and what a great! I didn't watch the game. I, I know you mentioned that because, because you're, I, you're protesting. I think it's the wrong protest. It is the wrong protest. It is. I, I, I'm not, I, I lost out. In the I'm end. not really letting did. them steal that away from me. They were already taking away my country. I'm not letting them take away the, my Blackhawks. Okay, I'm not letting. I, them no, do it. I'm not fighting the Blackhawks. I understand, but you it cost you watching the great game. But maybe I, not, me not watching a great game was the reason why they won. See, that's what I'm trying to equate this to. So I don't know if I can watch it. Let me tell game. you this, Jim. The world doesn't revolve around. I, I always say, you know, if I watch that game, they, they don't really care if you're listening or not or if you're what. They don't know. know. Okay. Uh, so. But I was watching Jake Gary as no hitter. Oh. Oh. With the fan running on the now field I at say, the end, jumping Unfortunately, around. I was on the train, and I was listening. I always listen to the game. I have the MLB app, app, bad app, so I'm always listening to the game. So I'm listening, and the great part about it, the app now, is that the last inning, they, they stream live, so I got to watch the last inning Did you really? I didn't know that. They, oh, wow. So, so anything, anytime something exciting is happening on there, they'll, they'll let you watch the game. Uh, oh, that's good. So, yeah, it is good. And it was so I got to watch the last inning. Uh, I was listening, but then I got to watch the last inning. On, so that's on good. Yeah. So, nothing better. I tried to wa- I tried to stream the uh, the Blackhawks game, but it was blacked out because of because I live in Chicago. I talked to your sister. She she lives in Milwaukee. She said I'm streaming the Blackhawks. I said oh, they won't let me stream. What she said she wasn't using a. Yeah, a real site. I don't do that. Oh, <laughs> so, oh. but you know what? People do what they got to do to watch the game, and I can't say that. So, but that's when you, you start arguing with the. This is for another sh- show, but I mean, look, the Cubs want to do their own channel, and it's like the Blackhawks did that, and it didn't really work out for them. So, better know what you're doing, guys. I mean, well, you guys are gaining some. My some own opinion here. is that they own this, the Comcast, the, the, all those teams, and it's really. I think it's slowing down progress because. You know, I think it's. Just, I would have an MLB app. I would pay for the TV app. Oh, I app. would too. But the, the thing is, why would I pay for it? My team, I can't watch. I know. I can watch every other team, but my team, you I can can't watch. watch. Out of market games. Okay. That, that doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, if I lived in like let's say Texas or something, or like out there, and I couldn't watch a Cubs game, yes, that is worth it to me. And I have the Infinity app. I already pay Infinity to pay to watch the game. Why can't I watch it on my Infinity app? No. I already paid them for it. Whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for tuning into our show, the IRS Radio Hour, every Sunday at 5 o'clock. And if you have a question, get in touch with us. I'll answer the question. If I didn't answer it in this show, maybe I'll answer it in the next show. Yep. So you got to be here next week to find out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. 312-664-6649. That is the phone number for Open Tax Resolutions. Also visit us at ChicagoTaxTeam.com. We want to thank you. Same bat time. Same bat channel go every Cubs, Sunday at go 5. Hawks. Go Cubs, go Hawks. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll see, you, we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> AM 560. The, the answer. answer.